The brain of a mammal is one of the most complex things in the universe, but studying brains has become easier thanks to some complicated high-tech equipment. This is the Tanagawa lab at MIT's Pickauer Institute for Learning and Memory, and this impressive machine is their two-photon microscope. It has two lasers that intersect in the sample of brain tissue. They excite photons of light, which, when amplified, reveal intricate structures. The researchers take snapshots at a range of depths, then combine them to create a layered, three-dimensional image that reveals features of the spines that protrude from brain cells. So a neuron is like a tree, and it has branches, and the branches get, fine, get finer as you go farther out along the tree. And on the tree, you can imagine they're almost like little thorns, they're mm -hmm. spines, and the spines are basically the sites of connections between two neurons. The images allow researchers to determine the number and thickness of the spines. Studying them has revealed important structural differences between normal brains and brains with disorders like Fragile X syndrome. Then, in the electrophysiology lab, researchers subject tiny samples of brain tissue to small pulses of electricity to measure their conductivity. And that's where the neurons communicate with each other. So if you have a defect in the spines, then you have potential problems in communication between neurons. Too much conductivity means an overload of stimulation, a problem researchers see in people with fragile X and in some cases of autism. The busy connections make learning and attention difficult, and new, highly stimulating experiences simply overwhelming. That's what these big machines tell us. But for more video on how the Tanagawa lab is working to quiet these noisy brain signals, check out sciencecentral.com's story, Reversing Fragile X.